welcome back to Let's Play Donut County. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, we're here at Beach Lot C. Getting ready to make Morsel's life, well, just a little bit worse than it already is. Where am I? There I am. There the fuck I am. Is that water or a plate? Oh, well, it's not enough water to fill the hole, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Well, the birds didn't like that. When I go up to the window, the window closes, and a little arm on the side puts a torch down to a firework. And then the lit firework sits there for a little bit. What happens if I swallow it? Oh. Oh, right. No, it just immediately falls in. I am not getting bigger just sitting here where the uh, fireworks are being endlessly dispensed. That would be funny, though. Brick! Do I need to extinguish that by filling myself up with water, or...? So it's got to be this. Oh, the lit one fell in and... Oh my. Yeah, the lit one fell in and I briefly turned into a fire hole, but then the fire, uh, the firework launched out of it and went off right next to the birds who fell off of the, uh, the power line. They look fine, though, which is odd. Sorry, seagulls! They don't really seem to give a shit, which is weird, because they can fly. I'm up here now. Oh, I'm down here now, but someone is eating... corn on the edge of a cliff way above us. Oh, no. I have hit the cliff with a uh, firework, and there's a big crack behind her now. She just seems confused. She also seems like an eagle. So there are bird people. Just saying. It's an option. Alright, I don't have another one. Oh, nice. One of the chunks that fell down went right in the hole. The other one stayed up there with her, along with a, uh, a campfire, a... What do you call it? A picnic blanket, a book, and a picnic basket full of corn. Fire! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. She, she fell all the way down. Are you, are you alive? Are you okay? Oh, more popcorn has happened. Sorry! Oh, I can't reach her, actually. Well, that's not great. That's unfortunate. She seems to have landed right outside the uh, area I can affect. Sorry, Morsel! Oh. That's 
all the fireworks in the fire. Well, there's a very big firework, it's out from quite a distance. But... You know, that eagle woman is either dead or very confused. Beach lot C, everyone is weak to fire. Beach bonfire. Beach cliff. Cliffs are a type of trap created by aliens. Beach corn. This corn has white stuff on it and spicy stuff. It's really good. Popcorn. Sandy. You have to fight a seagull to get this. The texture is highly regarded. Book. Yellow. You can't make me read. I'm not gonna do it. Seagull. 99% of seagulls are criminals. Firework. You can use fireworks to remove hair. Fireworks stand. A spicy candle store. Picnic basket. Pretty common type of treasure chest. Takeout cup. Don't drink immediately. Wait until all the fizz is gone. Raccoons are weird, man. Fries holder. Seagulls love french fries because it's the main crop of their homeland. Morsel's convertible. Morsel has a nicer car than I do. <laughs> Oh, this one doesn't have the black dots. Maybe they were painted on at that last level. I feel like I probably could have gotten that. Uh. Well, I don't think they're giving me the option to redo the level, so out I go. Have a garbage day. <laughs> the cat wanted back in. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, back in the cave. Boom, says BK. I was just cleaning up the neighborhood. Who else has a gripe with me? I do, says Coco. Well, my gripe is actually with Mira. Ooh, says BK. Now you're in for it, Mira. Coco? says Mira. Well, Mira knows the details, but I figure everyone should hear, says Coco. Even the bird weirdos, says Mira. <laughs> yes, tell them. And Mira says, I... I knew the raccoons were making the holes. I knew the whole time. Everyone says, <gasps> I like that, just everyone. <laughs> That's loud. Gecko Park, Coco. How many snakes would it take to defeat you? You know what? I turned the volume of the game way down so that I could uh, be legible here. Uh, Mira is texting with Coco and says, How many snakes did it take to defeat you? And Coco is going to push the duck button. Harsh. Didn't get one back. Reply. Big snakes? Venomous? Normal size, says Mira. But you got to fight in a tiny room. Okay, says Coco. Hmm. Probably 1,000 snakes. Wall, says uh, Mira. Okay, expect a shipment soon, says... Yes. You haven't looked into the disappearances yet, says Coco. Have you? I, pre I like that. The, the person is typing thing for several seconds and then just... No. Salt hasn't answered his phone in days. Did you talk to Possum? He says he has info. Possum told me that the Earth is hollow, says Mira, and flat at the same time, somehow. Duck. Got a duck that time. Oh, I got th three, four ducks back from that one. Wow! Hot damn. Mira, you know, ever since those raccoons moved in, folks have been disappearing. And you work at their donut shop. IDK, the raccoons treat me really well, and BK is my friend. 
I ordered a donut, says Coco. Why? says Mira. I want to see how they taste, says Coco. I gotta go, says Mira. I'll talk to you soon. Coco has fallen asleep. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, that dot was actually a chameleon. When I move near them, they decloak, run away, and then cloak up again, so all I can see is their eyes and a vague outline of them. Got one! And I can't even hear it because the audio is so low. You know what? I'm just gonna show you. I turned both of the volumes all the way down to the bottom setting, because if I go any lower than this, it's just mute. Or no, I, yeah, I don't think I can go any lower than this without it being mute. And then that was still really fucking loud, so I had to go to the, like, Windows mixer and switch it down to only about 40%. And that's how loud it was when we got into this level. I have turned it down to, like, 10 at this point. So, bottom, uh, bottom of the sliders, 10% of the normal volume in Windows. Loud fucking game. Can't wait to eat that stupid boombox. Yeah, there we go. I don't mean to be that guy, but contrary to popular belief, chameleons don't actually change colors to blend in with their backgrounds. It's like emotionally triggered or something. On the other hand, uh, octopi do it quite consciously and can even recreate uh, patterns. If you put one in front of a checkerboard, you'll get a checkerboard octopus. Fucks? Oh, there's a small one I missed. Maybe now. No, I just can't get the bigger ones. But there's nothing left to pick up. Ah! I didn't even know how that worked. He was clipping through the sides. This is probably a licensed song anyway, isn't it? Demonetization! Ho! spraying all over Coco, who hasn't even woke up. I'd better do a good deed and prevent the sprinkler from doing that again, or, you know... Could catch a cold. <laughs> there we go. Eat these books, eat that coffee. Okay, first things first. up. Sorry, chameleon. Oh, now, now I realize the chameleons pant as I get close to them. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh no. Some lawn flamingos here. I wonder how flamingo people feel about lawn flamingos. Oh shit. I like this fucking laundry line with nothing on it but soaking wet oven mitts. Much wider now, it's falling on its side. All right, all right, I'll eat the person. There you go. Pretty sound sleeper, clearly. Oh, almost had it there. Yes, the laundry line is mine! Oh, there's a gym on the right side there. They're doing cardio, like jumping jacks. I'll eat their garbage. The VK would, right? Oh, 
That palm tree was actually made of several segments that all counted. Neat. And let's eat this whole pile of fucking trash over here. Also, I've just noticed that even the house is shaped like a bent and opened tin can. <laughs> that was a xylophone. Can't eat the fence. Alright, I'll just eat the house. I suppose you do wake up when you fall, right? That's supposed to be the trick to waking up from a dream. 20,304 points. Delightful. Gecko Park. Book Blue. Probably a book with proof that aliens exist. Book Red. Probably a book about something boring, like collectible spoons. Coco's house. How does he fit inside? What? Was the door smaller than him? I didn't even notice. Coco's oven mitt keeps your hands warm. Coco's phone. He has 9,999 unread emails. Mood. Drying rack. Punish your clothes for getting wet. Lawn Flamingo, the only good bird, is a fake bird. Lounge Chair, a chair that wishes it was a bed. It seemed to be doing a pretty good job of it to me. Personal Fan, talk into this to sound like an alien. <laughs> Jeez, I don't even think that works anymore. I, mean, I do remember doing that when I was a kid, everybody quoting Darth Vader into that thing. Just stand right in front of the fan. Ugh. Sorry, I dropped a thing on the floor just there. Very professional of me. Um, Coco's Radio. The human ear can hear over 100 songs. <laughs> I don't even know what he means by that. Uh... Sprinkler. Put this in your house to keep things damp. Trash can. Needs no introduction. The gold standard. God damn it. Gecko. Imagine if your feet were sticky all day. Gecko small. Hang on! I mean, it looks like a gecko, but geckos don't do the color thing! I mean, I was thinking it didn't actually look very much like a chameleon since they have pointy faces and eyes that don't point in the same direction. Uh, yes, yeah, so gecko small. If I had sticky feet, I'd walk on the ceiling and scream. Gecko big. I'm going to get sticky feet. I'm going to do it. You can't stop me. Coco's vibraphone. Coco plays this every day to make his neighbors mad. If I hadn't already done so many damn jump cuts in this episode, I would totally uh, put in a new one to look it up. Vibraphone mallet. Doesn't hurt too bad. Donut display case. This is property of Donut County. Send it back immediately. I think that was part of the big pile of junk. Oh, shit. Oh, why am I in a hole? Where's my donut? Where's my chair? <laughs> Have a garbage day. Nine hundred ninety-nine feet below Donut County. I wonder how many people have typoed this as Donut Country without realizing it. I wonder if anyone's played this game without realizing it was county and not country. I'm so sorry, Coco, says Mira. Coco doesn't say anything, just it did it. It was my fault you got put in the hole. I should never have taken the job with the raccoons. What the? says BK. I thought we were friends, dude! I, th I thought we were too. Then you ruined my town. Grrr, I don't get it, says BK. I tried to help when you asked me to. I bought the catapult upgrade for you. Even though it's a waste of points. You told me that with the catapult, you could launch everyone back out of the hole! 
Yet here we are, in the hole. The green bunny dude who's petting the chicken is called Jelly Bean. Chickens are not a waste of points. Kiss Dollop on the head. You offended her. <laughs> and Dollop says, Book! BK, uh, no. Kiss her, says Jelly Bean. Book! says Dollop. No, says BK. It's the least you can do. After stealing all of our eggs. I didn't steal the eggs! They fell through the ground. Oh! Mira says, Just tell your story, Jelly Bean. Times were tough on the farm. I had to sell my prized rooster to make ends meet. It kind of sounds like Animal Crossing when they talk. Like, it almost sounds like the words, but you could probably not keep up with it if you... Well, hey, let's just ask Justin whether he can keep up with it without hearing me read it. I had to sell my prized rooster to make ends meet. Dollop was very upset. Oh, but there's the timer. Chicken barn, jelly bean. Eggs here today, born tomorrow. That's a whole ass farm, sure. There is a raccoon standing on yet another moped over there, but I don't believe it's meant to be BK because he's wearing an adorable construction helmet. There's also a chicken with a ladder on it, like a giant chicken statue with a ladder on it. But that I can't explain. I want some seriously large bales of hay. And, in fact, now that I look, there's a chicken cage the size of uh, a pickup truck there. This is a very strange place, even without the, uh, the orange field in the background, all those orange trees. Uh, that is to say, Justin, that they are trees with round orange fruit growing on them, not that they are orange in color. Just so we're clear on that. Well, I'm gonna start the level, but then I'm just gonna quit, because, you know, it's the, uh, end of the video. Oh, hey, Jellybean, petting a chicken and looking at a portrait of two chickens sitting together. All right, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Donut County. I hope you've had a good time so far. I know I am. I do wonder what that lava lamp is doing there, but um, we'll just have to wait to find out. Till then, I'll just be your friendly neighborhood hole in the ground. Um, <laughs> see you next time, Burning Dog fans. Have yourselves a great day. Later!